Hello, here's the video on uh, half neutralization that I promised you. And as you'll remember from class, half neutralization uh, allows us to fight pKa. All right, so we said pKa equals uh, the pH at half neutralization. Let's call it half n, save some time. And here we have a little slide of a titration curve. And uh, this is neutralization. This is the equivalence point. So I'll call it, uh, I'll just write it out for you. The equivalence point or the neutralization point. And let's say the amount of base that we added was uh, 50. And so we say that the half of that uh, is when you've uh, neutralized half of the acid. Uh, is when you've added 25. And so you would count up. Uh, to the curve at 25, work across, and you find the pH here. So let's say that pH was uh, 3 there um, at half neutralization, where half of the acid has been neutralized. Uh, then at that point, uh, the pH, which is 3, would be pKa. So pKa would be 3. So pKa would be 3. And then you uh, can work out what Ka is. Okay, and so the the rest of it is uh, is why, uh, why is that? So that's what we're going to do now. So let's um, look at this reaction. Let's it's a weak acid, of course. Uh, if we're looking at Ka, a weak acid we denote by HA, and we're going to add a base, right? So we're going to uh, just use the ion, uh, the hydroxide ion, and when we do that, uh, we're going to make some water. And we're going to leave the um, conjugate base on its own, right? So if this was sodium hydroxide, you would have sodium A minus, sodium ethanoate, for example. Uh, so at the start, right? So this is whilst you've still got your um, acid in the conical flask and your base in the burette. At the start, uh, for so S for start then let's say you've got 100 molecules of that, 100 ions of hydroxide. Uh, now you've not added them together yet, so you've got no water and you've got no conjugate base. Um, now you're gonna add them, and when you add them in 100, 100 plus 100, right, you're gonna have none of those left, you're gonna have none of those left, and you're gonna make 100 water molecules and you're gonna uh, leave 100 um, conjugate base ions like that, right? So that is for full neutralization. So that is full neutralization, like so. Um, and then, then we're going to do half neutralization, right? So at the start of half neutralization, let's say we've got a uh, hundred of these, and we neutralize half of them. So we're going to uh, add half hydroxides, half the number of hydroxide ions, and uh, we haven't added them together yet, so we've got no water molecules or uh, uh, conjugate base ions. Uh, so then now we add them together, and you would uh, react away 50 of these 100 acid molecules. Uh, so you'd have 50 left, and uh, you would you've reacted all of those 50 hydroxide ions. So you have none of those left, and you've made 50 water molecules and you've made 50 conjugate base ions. Okay, and so what you notice here is the number of molecules of uh, acid, weak acid, is the same as the number of molecules of conjugate base, A minus. Okay, so now we're gonna reflect back on the uh, equilibrium equation, equation of the weak acid. All right, so we've got HA, uh, slightly dissociates into H plus and conjugate base. And so then we can write our uh, expression for Ka. So our expression for Ka is the concentration of hydrogen ions times the concentra concentration of conjugate base all over the concentration of the weak acid. That's our expression for Ka that we're familiar with. Um, but here, um, here, you, we can see that um, HA is equal to 
a minus at half equilibrium. So at half equilibrium, all right, so I'm going to change color, at half equilibrium, we can say that uh, HA and A minus are the same. If they're the same, they're going to cancel out like so. So what you have left, uh, just using this space on the right hand side here, is that uh, Ka equals concentration of hydrogen ions. So then if we take uh, minus logs of both sides, minus log of Ka equals minus log of hydrogen ions. Uh, and of course this is pKa and this is pH. And this is what we read off the chart, like over on the left here. Okay, so that's um, a reminder of half neutralization and a derivation of y at half neutralization, pKa equals pH. I hope that's helped.